the Israeli military ordered people to evacuate areas near the city of Khan Yunus in the southern Gaza Strip on Monday after Hamas fired rockets at Tel Aviv. The military had also ordered an evacuation of the areas east of Khan Yunus earlier in the war, when it sent ground troops into the territory's second largest city. The latest orders on Monday came after a barrage of five rockets triggered air raid sirens in central Israel, lightly wounded two women and caused minor damage. The military said the rockets were fired from the area of Khan Yunus. Hamas claimed the attack, which came as Israelis marked the anniversary of the October 7 attack out of Gaza that triggered the war. On Sunday, the military reiterated warnings for the entire population of northern Gaza to flee south. Those warnings date back to the early weeks of the war, when Israeli forces sealed off the north and launched heavy operations there. A year of war has inflicted heavy losses on Hamas, but its fighters have repeatedly regrouped in areas where Israel has carried out large operations. كانوا خلاء بن سهيله وخلينا وكل مره بنخلف الشوارع بنقول لا اله الا الله ليش بنسيف فينا يا ريت تخلصوا علينا وتريحوا وسطنا يا ان هذا اسمه ذل والله انزلينا New Western intelligence suggests that Russia maintains an extensive air defense network, but this has not stopped Ukraine from carrying out long-range drone strikes. As Business Insider reports, Ukrainian drones have carried out a series of attacks on important Russian ammunition depots in recent weeks, causing significant damage and destroying large quantities of weapons needed to support the Russian military. The strikes demonstrate the success of Ukraine's long-range drone programs and call into question the ability of Russia's air defenses to effectively protect its assets. The UK Ministry of Defense said Kyiv's ability to quickly launch major attacks highlights Russia's difficulties in countering Ukrainian drones despite its extensive air defense network, including surface-to-air missiles, electronic warfare, anti-aircraft guns and fighter jets. The Ukrainian side said its drones are able to bypass Russian defenses and strike an ammunition depot in the Volgograd region, which was another attack on Russian facilities. According to British intelligence, such attacks are likely to further disperse Russia's logistics system due to fears of further strikes, making it even more difficult to supply the military. Analysts at the Institute for the Study of War also point out that regular attacks on Russian warehouses could force Moscow to disperse its material to reduce its vulnerability.
Despite all efforts, Russia has been unable to effectively repel Ukrainian drone attacks at significant distances since the beginning of the war. In recent months, Ukraine has successfully attacked important military and energy targets in Russia using domestically produced drones because it is prohibited from using Western missiles to strike Russian territory. Kyiv continues to insist that these restrictions be lifted, believing that doing so would further undermine Russia's military capabilities. Recently, Ukrainian drones detonated 2,000 tons of ammunition in southern Russia. The explosions at the warehouses caused local earthquakes and were also visible from space. Successive raids on ammunition depots signal a shift in Ukraine's deep strikes campaign against strategic targets inside Russia. For months, Kyiv has been asking its European and American allies for permission to strike Russia with British Storm Shadow, French Scalp EG and American missiles, but has been repeatedly refused. Apparently running out of patience, the Ukrainians have doubled down on their production of homegrown weapons, drones and missiles that they can fire at targets inside Russia without asking anyone's permission first. The last attacks also signal an increase in the scale of Ukraine's deep strikes. Previous raids, some of which hit targets up to 1,800 kilometers inside Russia, were impressive in terms of logistics but small in scale. The Forbes notes,